about quiet luxury. And when you think quiet luxury, the image that should come in your head is Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how you dress. This is how you move through the world. It's very quiet luxury. Yes, like, there's nothing yes. loud and screaming. No. Um, but, you know, like, you're classy and you got style. So. Is oh, this a trend? Yes. Feel good. Yes, he's got style Thank and he's you. classy. Yes. Um, it, this it, is a trend. This is not for me. Not for you. Not for me. Not for you. But it is seems like everyone's talking about it now, quiet luxury. Yes. And I think really what it is about is about not being sort of in your face. Yes. A little over the top, a little glitzy, a little yeah. you know, my thing about I don't like logos. I don't like logos on yeah. clothes. So to me, don't wear a lot, unless they're paying you. Right. Um, don't wear it. I don't, and then wear all of it. And then wear, yeah, wear it all over. But that is a part of quiet luxury. A quiet luxury is saying, shh, I'm rich. No. No. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's basically, it's basically, it, it's letting the luxury speak for itself. If you buy quality items, you don't have to be shouting to anyone that they're quality items. Correct, and you can it mix will it. It look quality, and you mix. You mix it. Doesn't mean you, you have mix. to spend a lot of money. You can right. wear a beautiful sweater with, I'll show you an interior, yeah. with Although a Gap t-shirt. Although I like my definition better. Like an, you can wear Shh, it. I'm rich. Yes, but you can wear <laughs> like a, like I'm wearing a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt. You can wear a an $8 t-shirt with a nice sweater, but you have totally. it forever. So let's get into interiors, which is me. This is really this what is we're really talking me. about right now. But I also <laughs> like the mix. Okay. So it's like, like I think of, when I think of quiet luxury, I think of Audrey Hepburn, yes. Cary Grant. You know, Audrey Hepburn, you look at old pictures, she looks so gorgeous. Yeah, uh, and it's Breakfast simple. at Tiffany's, that beautiful black yeah. dress. Very simple. So with interiors, it takes the same sort of thing, but I really like the mix. Okay. So I like to mix vintage pieces in our interior. So in this one, this is a house we did in Aspen, and mm. the client had this beautiful old painting from her grandparents. And we did this very modern fireplace, very modern um, paneling, beautiful, luxurious carpet that felt so, so good nice. on your feet. You take off your shoes, and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. It's <laughs> I could soft, sleep here. it's yummy. Yeah. You want to lie on it in front of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, my apartment in New York. This is what I'm all about. What well, are those called again? Uh, that's French studying? nails. Oh, studying. French yeah. nails. Oh, yes. I like that. So one of the things I did is I had this really fabulous uh, Greek vase. Beautiful. But I put it on, I bought an Ikea shelf. I couldn't be, I couldn't wait for the contractor to do it. Yeah. So I went to Ikea and we had extra wallpaper. This is all linen wallpaper. And I glued the wallpaper on it and yeah. I mounted it myself. And look how beautiful that looks. I'm so proud of you. I know. It's shocking that <laughs> no, I did anything did it, myself. He did a DIY. I still sit yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. You get applause for that. I'm very proud of you. I do sit there every this so often beautiful. and think, I hope that doesn't fall off the wall. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, you know, and then the, the luxury, again, not about so much about price, but the, yeah. the feeling of velvet pillows and these gorgeous, rich colors in velvet. And this is a project we did in Palm Beach, and the client, she likes a little... A little glitz. A little glitz. A little razzle-dazzle. So what I did for her is I got her this beautiful um, gilded mirror, which had a shell on it, so it suited the beach, yeah. and this, this antique settee that had oh, a little gold yeah. on it, so it, with the rattan. So it was yeah. mixing that little bit of gold, but I had these rattan chairs, which are Jean-Michel Frank from the 40s, so they brought it down a little bit. It wasn't like... It's a nice way to do it. It's not gaudy at all, which at I all. think is really beautiful. I don't want you to have a gaudy house. I want you to no. have a house that's going to last forever. That's right, and, and you're going to like it forever. And you're going to love it. Yeah. And in this one, it's all about, we did wall finishes and paneling. So in this one, we did this contemporary paneling mm -hmm. with wallpaper in the center. This is so easy to do. And then those antique, these are Swedish sconces, but with the modern fireplace. Again, I love carpets, beautiful, yeah. luxurious carpets. In this one, I did the paneling with a console. Someone might have put like a brass console with a marble top on it. Yeah. No, I just want you kept it simple. this beautiful Japanese style console in this brushed oak. Now, I have a lamp that's marble, but it's a honed marble, so mm -hmm. it's not over there. And in this, I did the upholstered walls. Ooh, and I the, love that. And the furniture, when you look at a chair like that, it should feel fabulous. Like, yes. Like this. Feel this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, so this feels what like... What is it? Well, it feels like cashmere. It's polyester. Oh, my gosh. So this is very affordable, but I, when I was showing everybody in the office here... Oops. Yeah. So excited about this. <laughs> um, 
Did I go to the right one? You did right. But look at this also. Pleated, this beautiful pleating that for a gorgeous. pillow. So it's about layering, it's about understatement, it's about, you know, mixing quality and having fun with accessories and lighting. There's so many ways to do it in your decor. We might and have to it, do it another is episode. about, we're going to have to do another segment for sure, but uh, I love that you're the embodiment 